very easy to say that this movie is about sex, but I'm not sure that it is. I don't think it is. Your two characters, they have a father-daughter relationship, and mm -hmm. I didn't see an Electra complex in there. Mm -hmm. So how would you two then describe the movie? I'd say it's, it's, there's a lot of loneliness in the film. It's, it's a lot of film about loneliness and searching. and searching, and it's a tale. There's also a lot of humor. And the sex becomes secondary, and it becomes, yes, there is a lot of, of nudity and sexual content, but it becomes into the story rather than being the story. Um, and you kind of just immerse yourself with all the characters and what's going on with them, and because it's all over the place and there's digressions, you, you completely forget that, you know, this is called nymphomaniac almost. Mm. Uh, I, I agree. I think um, certainly the, the relationship, uh, the father and daughter relationship is, is uh, an important aspect of the film. I mean, to, to show that uh, this girl, you know, didn't necessarily come from a, a tragic or troubled background, you know, that her father was a decent man. And uh, I think the loss, I think the love that she felt for him and, and the loss of that character is... Um, is extraordinarily painful, and, and I think one of the, the the voids that she feels within herself that she's constantly trying to fill or recapture. Well, that was going to be my next question about that uh, father-daughter relationship. I have a daughter, and I was like very curious looking yeah. at this film to see whether there were lines to be drawn from that early relationship sure. to the troubles that mm -hmm. your character experiences later in life. Right. Are there lines there to be drawn? Is it a nature versus nurture argument being made? Uh, look, I mean, I think it's up to the eye of the beholder, really, uh, and everybody comes at things with their own interpretations. Um, I thought it was a very special relationship. I think it was, I think the, the, the father has a very cold relationship with his wife. Um, uh, clearly, the, you know, there is an appropriate level of intimacy between the father and the daughter, which, uh, you know, I was very grateful for. Um, but, uh... You know, I, th I think just the painful loss and the amount of love that was there between the two of them, um, you know, creates you know, some real longing and some real pain for her character. Uh, I was also thinking about the deeper meaning maybe behind the trees. You guys have a oh. relationship where you spend a lot of time looking at trees, talking right. about the different yeah. leaves. Yeah. Is there something sort of obvious and clear that I'm missing that that signifies? I think, you know, you what Lars does is that he shows you a universe and he doesn't really give you the answers. The answers come to you if they come and it's your own answers and that's what's so great. So your reaction to the trees or your relationship to that might be completely different to anyone else's. Um, I think what they have is that they connect onto something, you know, that's maybe mystical and there's a mystery around their relationship because it's so intense and they bond a lot of, around nature and, and it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, very, very natural, very organic. Uh, you know, it was a interesting, uh, those were interesting scenes to shoot. Um, you know, me getting these pages about trees and ash trees, and, uh, you know, I, I wasn't really sure how it was all going to come across or how it was going to look. And just one of the things that Lars was really wonderful about was uh, allowing us to, to take our time and, and really capture the moments. And I don't think either one of us ever felt rushed or, or pressured and you know you come from America where it's a little bit more about getting the day. Uh, Lars is much more interested in getting the moments. So now you said that Lars doesn't give the audience the answers but mm. I wonder did you guys sort of sit down on set and talk about the various weighty issues that the film deals with either you know amongst yourself as a mm. cast or with him? Not so much I think he you know what he he gave us an incredible story and, and as an actor, I think you rely on the story. And then it is, there is a lot of discussion and there's a lot of debate, which you know, we had, but I didn't have that much with Lars. I kind of, we talked about a lot of things, but that. <laughs> I mean, the first time I met him was uh, in Cologne, Germany. Uh, we had a lovely dinner together. I found him to be just a sweet, wonderful guy. He, he uh, I, I was really surprised by that. I, I didn't know what to expect, um, but he couldn't have been more, I don't know, open and honest. Um, I met the rest of his crew, which were people that he'd worked with before, and you know he'd really built a, a great um, base with all these people, and it really felt very familial there. And uh, uh, everybody there was so invested in giving Lars uh, 
whatever he wanted, really. Um, you know, we all felt very safe and that we could trust him to take whatever chance or risk that uh, he requested of us. Now, between the title and the graphic nature of some scenes in the movie, I wonder if either of you two sort of paused before you took the role. Did it cause you to sort of stop and think, did you want to do it? I paused for maybe two seconds or maybe a bit more for the time to, just for the time to make sure that everything was set in place because of all the scenes that I had to do in the sexual content. I just wanted to make sure that I was protected as an actress and as a woman, that I didn't have to actually do anything sexual and that was very clear with Lars and I told him and everyone knew, the crew knew, the actors knew. So, you know, as soon as that was clear, it was sort of just straight line, yes. And sure, I mean, there were moments, uh, certainly in the, uh, the hospital room that I was nervous about, but again, it's, it's, it's all about the trust that you have for the director. And, and uh, uh, I just had a, a very safe, uh, just from the first day that I met him, that I, I wanted to do everything I possibly could to help him convey the images that he wanted to convey. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.